drinking alcohol is very bad for health drinking alcohol is very bad for health i am repeating a second time because lot of doctors tell you uh, drink a little couple of packs of uh, wine red wine it is good for your heart absolute myth there is nothing even a drop of alcohol is not good for health i am not saying a drop of alcohol is bad for health but there is no evidence to say that even a drop of alcohol is good for health alcohol is not good for health at all alcohol damages the liver of course first alcohol damages the heart irreparably there is what's called alcoholic cardiomyopathy which is a very dangerous disease man drops down dead and but that cannot be corrected at all there is no treatment for that and then alcohol is bad two tobacco is an enemy number one three having friends relations and happiness and the more number of friends and relations you are happy with longer you live healthier you live happier you live so only three things a don't drink alcohol b don't smoke three have lot of friends talk to them daily make them happy make another person happy you will be happy how to be happy christina an american poet has said if love is what you give away love is what comes back each day like a mirror so if happiness is what you give away happiness is what comes back each day supposing i give a lot of happiness to shah saab uh, happiness will come to me from someone else shah saab will be happy because of me but i'll be happy because of someone else gratitude is the biggest thing uh, that's the indian philosophy <coughs> also says that sorry this is the delhi weather the throat gets you know in uh, slightly inflamed in the weather cold air goes in and the cold air should not go into the throat the cold air should enter the nose by the time it comes to the throat it must be 97 degrees centigrade in fahrenheit but here what happens in delhi weather sometimes the cold is so cold that the air comes to the throat also cold and then it's bad and also the use taken tube the cold enters through the external ear and goes and hits the out, outer part of the eardrum and the whole middle ear gets inflamed and that changes your voice gives you this little hacking cough number 3 so three things came out in this study three things a study of 90 years no study has been done in now we say oh uh, diabetes is bad hypertension is blood your blood pressure is bad we frighten people right but is it true mr fit study is a large study which studied for 25 years multiple risk factor intervention trial we showed that there are no risk factors at all even if there are risk factors even if you control them the risk if there is any is not controlled supposing sir let us say blood pressure is bad let us say blood pressure is bad i am not saying blood pressure is bad if you control the blood pressure with drugs the badness the whatever bad thing you think will not go away that will remain the blood pressure of course might be the record may be good diabetes is bad the your uh, readings may be every day you go to the doctor and take a reading because you are almost obsessed about it it may be true but if diabetes does something else which is as a consequence of diabetes that consequence will remain so the mr fit study showed i quote again there are no risk factors full stop the so called risk factors can be controlled very easily with drugs or intervention but the risk is not ever remo- removed completely now second thing is see nature evolves and uh, we were like the snake let us say we evolved from the snake we from the monkeys then we came up in the snake there is no coronary circulation at all so the snake doesn't get a heart attack why did nature give us a coronary circulation to give heart attack probably we needed it so now we have a special circulation for the heart itself called coronary circulation there are vessels now this is a big business for us now we can always when you go somewhere and say chest or you go for a complete check up they first tell you, run make you run on a treadmill this is called gtt you know they not gtt that's called uh, tmt they make you run on that and then see the ecg when you are running the ecg usually is either up or down so it doesn't really mean much but they say it's more borderline positive then they'll say we'll do an angiogram absolutely no idea because angiogram is not a diagnostic test of anything with even school going children if you do an angiogram they will have blocks but when once you are doing an angiogram they see a block and then frighten you and say look you have a block in this vessel so you can't even i can't even let you go home you must have an operation right now or you must have a stunt 
I call it a stunt, not stent. Right now. Then you say, why, why, doctor, I, I have to go home and come. No, 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 I can't assure you. You may go home, but you will, uh, I can't assure you that you'll come back alive. But if, I'll tell you one very simple method to get out of that. You simply tell them, doctor, I'm sorry, I don't have the money. I'll get some money and then come back. They won't touch you. Then they'll say, don't worry, you can get some medicines, it's all right. But otherwise they'll say, okay, he's from Ema, then 10 lakhs is nothing, so I must bakra for him and get him and then do an angiogram and do it. Because how many people in India can afford 10 lakhs? And they, you know, they frighten the wives first. They say, look, your husband's condition is very, very bad. Then she'll say, okay, I'll sell my Mangala Sutra and also get, a, get an angiogram done. So angiograms are done left, right and center for people. A lot of people send me an angiogram and say, now tell me what's to be done. So I tell them, I don't know what to do for the angiogram, but I know what to do for your father or mother, but I must examine them first. You see, today clinical medicine has di uh, died. You go to the doctor, nobody examines you. They just write tests, uh, a battery of tests, and then write about 100 medicines. It's like a laundry list.